Hi, my name is Dr. Fred Ferry. Um, uh, I practice internal medicine in Rhode Island and I'm also a professor at the Brown University Medical School and a uh, book writer, one of my passions. And we published the first book back in uh, 1987 at the time. Uh, and the first book became a bestseller by the, you know, the second edition. We were in the top 10 medical books, and now their book is in the ninth edition. It's called The Practical Guide to the Care of the Medical Patients, and that's what started the whole process. From there, we, we developed a whole series of practical guidebooks. We did one in geriatrics. I have my boards in, in geriatrics medicine also. Um, and uh, then we ended up uh, doing uh, other books on uh, differential diagnosis, uh, uh, lab testing, uh, and so forth. And uh, um, in around 2008, I was approached by uh, El Savia to um, uh, come up with a book that would be very useful to the practicing physicians, um, because most of my other manuals were aimed at medical residents and students who were in the acute care setting. So they wanted to see a book that would be very, uh, uh, could be used by the, the, the primary care physicians. The primary care was becoming much more recognized as, uh, as a field of study. And that's when I, uh, I worked on the first edition of the Clinical Advisor, and that was published in 1999. And as you see, we, <laughs> we just published the 2013th edition, and uh, we keep, we're doing very well with the book. And it's aimed primarily to the uh, practicing physician. We have different sections in there. What makes our book special and different than the other competitors is not only do we have the section that they all have, which is the, you know, the, the disease and disorders, but we also have other sections. We have uh, a section on differential diagnosis, we have algorithms, we have preventive care guidelines and, uh, and uh, laboratories and so forth on there. So it is not only one book that they get, it's like really getting five books in one. And then I think the community physicians recognize that and the book has done very well. Um, and that uh, we've been very successful over the years. Um, a lot of the books have been translated in uh, multiple languages. And uh, as you can probably see later, I can show you we have uh, books in Chinese, in Japanese, in uh, Greek, in German, French, Italian, and so forth. So uh, the success we have had with the books has been outstanding. and. Uh, I think what makes the books different than the others is uh, these are very uh, practical, hands-on book. Okay, we uh, it's aimed to the busy physician that's there in the trenches taking care of patients every day. That with time is limited, and you want to have relevant, up-to-date information, and that's what we're able to provide them with these books. In the initial books I had in the clinical advisor, I did have patient teaching guides uh, on there, which were, were, you know, were, were written, but what was missing was the, uh, the photos, the, uh, the illustrations on that, and what better than Dr. Nera to, to come up with that. And uh, so we, we, uh, we decided to join forces uh, with uh, the, the Nera um, collection, and uh, we, we picked about uh, 700 topics initially. I think we're up to about a thousand topics now of uh, common, and it's something for anything ranging from common disorders like congestive heart failure to uh, very unusual conditions, trying to cover the whole broad spectrum, and in each one of those I would, it was written so it was very easy to pay for patients to understand. But what made it different than the other uh, uh, patient teaching guides was the illustrations from Dr. Nera. I wanted to have uh, pictures, number one, the, the, the clarity of the picture had to, to be uh, perfect on that, and also to add and to show the concept of it. So if you have a patient with gout, and uh, not only do you want to show the inflammation on the, from the, on, in the photo, but also which joints are typically involved and uh, uh, the painful expression of the patient when they have gout. So, so some of those illustrations, uh, you know, uh, and they, we, we try to combine the practicality with the visual beauty of uh, the atlas. And uh, as we evolve into more and more electronic publishing, I think some of those photos are going to be maybe more valuable uh, on that. And uh, it's a wonderful gift for somebody, to, the parent, to give to their child. When, uh, their child, their, their students, when they start uh, the, uh, the first year of medical school, I think it's one of the books that should be on the shelf all, all the time. <laughs>